Hey girl, welcome back. We're going to jump into an interview with the Royal Nanny. Okay, she go by the name of Maria Borrello. Welcome her to the show. Hey, Miss Maria, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. As you know, we are investigating the Kate Milliton um, disappearance. And we were just hoping that you can shine some light, okay? Maybe give us some clues on what's going on behind the royal palace, okay? So we're going to start off by asking a couple of questions for you. You can answer to the best of your knowledge, okay? And we'll greatly appreciate it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first I want to start off, Miss Maria. What was your experience working with the royal family, okay? What was your experience? If you can give me three cards to, to, to describe your experience working with the royal family. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, uh -uh, first thing she's talking about is it was an affair. Okay. What kind of an affair, girl? Now, I know you ain't over there having no affair with nobody. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Are you starting off with the tea and the juice? I thought you were going to say something different, girl. So, okay, we got, it just says an affair. Now, this speaks about a love affair. This could be, you know, a girl, I don't know what other kind of affair this could be. So, all right, okay, Miss Maria. Okay, we don't want to start off that juicy. That's why I picked this deck. Okay, I, I was looking for some light stuff. But we got the affair. So we'll see what kind of affair that was that she's speaking about, okay? Did she see somebody have a love affair? Did she have a love affair with somebody behind the royal uh, walls? Okay, were they real flirty? Were they doing too much, team too much with her? Okay, was that one of the job, you know, pre prerequisites for her to get the job, baby? You got to go over there and hug her with a royal? I don't know, girl. Okay, Miss Maria, that's a lot to start off with. She said there was flattery. Okay, maybe she was flattered, you know, she had, you know, she was flattered to work for them. But then at the same time, you look how that car look, okay. It seems like, you know, there was plants, there were seeds that were planted here in her head. But it seems like, you know, just like the look that she giving now, it's almost giving a dead look like, you know, they, they were tiresome, okay. She probably was wore out. You know, to the point, because it seemed like she very tired looking, baby. It seemed like when they fired her, that probably was the best thing that she ever had happen to her. Because it would, and I'm just assuming they fired you. I don't know, because they said you're not over there no more, Miss Maria. But I asked you more about that. But she's, we got the flattery card here, followed by extremism. Girl, she's telling all these folks' business at the beginning. So were you over there fighting with them, or were they over there fighting, Miss, um, Miss uh, Maria, because this card speaks about extreme situations. Somebody crossing the line. I see a man and a woman fighting here over a letter, over some text, over some type of communication. Okay, a letter. So it seems like, honey, it's like these folks don't wore you out over there with the affair. And I just, all I asked Miss Maria is, hey, how you doing? I just said, what was your experience working for? the royal family and you said it was full of affairs okay and she was tired she was dead inside baby and then because they was all they did was fight <sighs> miss maria give me more about this love affair okay why is this love affair here why did you start off with that when i asked all i asked you was uh, what was your experience working with the royals okay what can you tell me about this affair card why is this here for that simple question that i asked you miss maria You, you came over here to tell all these folks business, honey. And you started off instantly. Girl, she said that the affair speaks about a quarrel. Now, you know, a quarrel like a fight, a head-on battle. Girl, she said since day one, honey, all they was doing was fighting over there. Quarrels, battling, okay? This right here, you see these two men fighting over a ring, pulling over a ring. A ring represent a union, a marriage, okay? Some type of commitment, okay? They was pulling over a... So it's like a head-to-head -head battle with this affair, followed by endurance. Somebody's still fighting, girl. Girl, still somebody over there choking somebody. Miss Maria, girl, why did you stay so long? But she said she had to have patience, honey. And it seemed like this is a royal person right here. Okay, is this the princess having patience? So it seemed like the masculine energies was too much. I see a lot going on with masculine energy, but then she speaks about this patience when it came to a princess or some type of royal female, royal feminine. 
Okay. So did anybody try you? Okay, did, did one of these masculines try to have an affair with you? Miss um Maria? One card. Girl, you spilling too much tea, baby. I didn't even want you to start off like that. Ooh. She said, honey, if you didn't, you was criticized. So she said there was criticism going on. It's always keeping an eye on you, pointing fingers at you, criticizing you for everything that you did. Are you mad at these folks? Okay. Because it seems like you're a little angry at these folks. Okay. So the masculine energy was always pointing the finger. Okay. And it seemed like at the females. Okay. Or at her girl. Is that Maria? Or is it looked like that could be Maria. She said she was always being criticized. Always watching her. Keeping an eye on her. And then this finger could go out and touch you. Okay. Miss Maria, okay, this card, let me put this deck down, Miss Maria, you're going to town with that deck, girl, let me pull, let's pull from the astrology card, let's find out more about this affair, Miss Maria, give me more about this affair, Miss Maria, before we move on, because, girl, like I said, all I asked you was, what was your experience, okay, how was it working for them, and you started off first with an affair, give me one card to describe this affair, okay, and all these cards that went with it, so I can get clarity, Okay, we got the Voyager with the Sagittarius energy. Now, this car already you can see on with just from the pictures, you see somebody movement. Okay, we got the horse, we got somebody taking flight, travel, we got tattoos on the back of somebody's head, girl, flowers. It speaks about enthusiastic. Okay, so she said she was enthusiastic to start working here, she was excited because it was a job of a lifetime. Okay, and it speaks about philosophical independent generous okay so they probably paid well ethnical okay so it seemed like it could have possibly been you know it started off with good okay they had good manners good deeds okay good missions okay had ethics okay seeking okay but somebody was seeking something somebody got very happy-go-lucky okay and adventurous okay and it's, it speaks about honest Okay, so that's good. But then, girl, we got right back to bareback. Okay, they didn't even, they said, she said they didn't even put, because I see horse right here. They didn't even put a saddle on the horse, baby. They went, they rode bareback, baby. That's barbaric. It speaks about unbridled, experimental, lucky, boundless. Okay, it seemed like, you know, sometimes they cross boundaries. Okay, it's like there was no boundaries that they wouldn't cross. It speaks about a lot of traveling with the family. There was some risk taking. People were tacky and it's self righteous. So it's almost like, okay, girl, instead of love in the club, it was love in the royal palace and not in a good way. They said the men's probably, you know, the men probably were being men. They, they didn't have any boundaries when it came to the females, the women. They were cross boundaries, okay? She said she traveled a lot with the family. She was very enthusiastic again to get the job. You know, it's, it speaks about independent. You know, she probably used to working alone and being alone, but it's like she was watched a lot when she was with the royal family. Okay, they wanted her to be honest, and I'm assuming that they was being honest back and forth with her. But things got bare, they went bareback, baby. They went raw. Okay, I don't know what that means. Unbridled, okay? Which means even if they was married, girl, they probably crossed the line. Okay, that's why I saw men over here battling with the with the rings. It's like, do they share, honey? Are they swingers? Okay, very experimental. Like, they'll try everything once, baby. But she said she was kind of lucky until they became boundless, okay, traveling. And they was risk-taking all the time. Risky business. Very tacky. Tackless, honey. They have no tack. Nothing, nothing, um held them together baby with the affair so okay miss um maria thank you so much for that okay now you told me that there's a lot of quarrels over there okay when they had affairs so they may have had different type of affairs and some of the and, and, it, and it cannot be love affairs maybe they had some type of different affairs that they was dealing with that they call royal duties Girl, I need to know more about those royal duties because we're confused by it. We don't know what they over there doing, what they calling a the job. They calling in, and it's like, why? Everybody over there got cancer, you know? And it's like, what are y'all eating? I thought y'all eating the best of the best. 
Y'all had royal cooks over there. It's like, what's going on? So why is this quarrel here? What is the quarrel between these two masculine energies, okay? I see quarrels at the top, quarrels at the bottom, baby. So what's going on? What, what was these affairs that, that caused quarrels? Okay. You talking, girl. You, you is talking today. I appreciate you. So we got uh, the millennial card came out here, and that speaks about self-enterprise and very adventurous. Okay, so the men were probably very adventurous, honey. They were they playing polos. They probably was very, um, what are the games they play? Just playing games all the time on a horse, doing team too much. Okay, always had some different type of events, and she probably had to attend those different affairs. It speaks about destroying tradition. Okay, so they want traditional, babe, again. If you had a wife and he wanted to try it, it's like, why not? Okay. They are very diverse over there. Okay. Young people. She speaks about young people and individualities. Okay. A lot of individuals here that was participating, but they was draking over there, girl. It speaks about there was a lot of relationship struggles or endings. Okay. Even missing someone, emotional, lonely, depressed, and sad. Is that how you felt? Girl, why did you stay so long? Because I don't see no happiness here. We see love bombing here. It speaks about shout with attention to influence someone's behavior. They are very manipulative and they had hidden intentions. And But there was um, FOMO energy, the fear of missing out. And that speaks about fear of missing the opportunity, feeling pressured, and choices. Did they ever cross the line with you, Miss um, Miss Maria? Did they ever cross the line with you in a central type of way at all? Give me one card. And she said, girl, not the whole squad. Miss Maria, what you trying to say? Is that there was a clique of friends, okay? It said, be a team player. They was telling her to be a team player, close friends, a group. A friend, soul tribe. She said, honey, that all the friends would cross the line with her. I miss Miss Maria. I, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I thought you was off limits over there. I thought maybe, but now that I look at you, girl, I think you right up their alley. I think you got the look that they go for. Yes, ma'am. You and Camilla probably some somewhere in the same arena a little bit. So you know you probably queen status over there, Miss Miss Maria. Now that I think about it. No disrespect, but, you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, girl. And I think you got the looks that uh, pays the bill, baby. Okay, you hear me? So, yeah, so you didn't like that, Miss Maria, did you not? Okay, how did you feel about the whole squad crossing the line and stuff like that? And you had a fear of missing out because you didn't want to miss on this opportunity. So you felt, you know, that you had to do it because they would love bum you and manipulate the situation. And men would seem like they were fighting over there, you know, fighting to get the attention. How did you feel about them doing this to you? One card. Okay. She said basic, kind of plain and simple. Mainstream is her taste. She was insulted, okay? But it speaks about unoriginal, unexciting. So she wasn't excited about it, okay? And she felt like she was insulted by it. Okay, but why did you stay so long? Why did you not leave? Okay. She said the struggle is real. Right, sis? Now, <laughs> sis, I understand that. Them bills going to be due, baby. The bills is due. They, just because you leave, baby, and you insulted, baby. You think the power bill going to stop coming, baby? You think that mortgage bill, that rent bill, baby, that car note going to stop coming? Baby, I feel you. The struggle is real, though, she said. Okay. She said she was hitting a rough patch in life. Okay. It was a frustrating situation, and it was not easy. Times were trying. She had some setbacks, even though she was very much annoyed. I got you, girl. Say less. Say less, sis. Okay. So, now we see what's going on over there. Now, Miss um, Maria, okay, they said you had to endure this. You had to endure a lot of this. You had to be strong. What did you endure? What were you enduring over there? Because we're not going to dismiss your allegation. She, she was sorry, not sorry. They were saying what they did was not wrong, okay? And they don't care what people think about it. They were unremorseful, bitchy, and they did not care when it came to what they was doing to her. So she had to endure what was going on. 
Okay, so I'm assuming I st you still not telling me what you have to endure. Okay, I I'm not really getting what's going on here with what you endured. If you can kind of tell me a little bit. Okay, let's see what this deck has to say. What was the endurance here? What did you have to endure? I mean, I guess I can kind of get it. You know, I guess you without you just saying it, but I just want to see. Okay. So the cards that we have here, she had to endure. Now with this letter, it speaks about a correspondent, communication, okay? The way they spoke to her maybe, okay, with the letter. There was some type of communication here that she had to endure uh, from snakes, okay? So you know snakes, or they hissing at you, okay? They all about tricks, seduction, yeah, okay, I get it now, Miss uh, Maria. Deception. She was very frustrated being betrayed by mice, baby. Okay. It speaks about worries, chaos, problems, sneaky activity, dirty, lies. A lot of chaos that were happening behind closed doors that she had to endure. And they was they was then give a F. They they did not they was unapologetic. They didn't care. Very bitchy type of attitude. So was that the men being bitchy or was that the girls, honey? Was the girls being like that? They said that because there was some relationship struggles going on. Okay, a lot of criticism, a lot of snake activity. Love bombing her, okay, touching on her, crossing the line, criticizing her. And they tried to um, maneuver, I mean, try to manipulate her, okay, to try to change her behavior. Because she probably said she used to come in there, baby. I know you didn't come in there with no little short dresses on like that, girl, because that's, that's going to happen, honey. With legs like that, Miss Maria. Okay, I am. I'm not trying to judge you, girl. You know, but, you know, that's probably how she started off. She was adventurous. But, you know, she was a young person. Let she let her tell it, she said. But she had to dress like a basic bee. You know, try to keep him off of him. And I don't think that even worked. So, how was your experience when it came to working with Catherine? Did, okay, because you kept her children. How was it when you was working with her? Okay. That Catherine left. Girl, Catherine left work. Girl, you, I know you work with Catherine at some time. It says she felt like it was, she was feeling like it was hard to fit in probably when it came to Catherine. Maybe Catherine was feeling that way. Maybe she was feeling that way because listen, how many women was in the royal palace at that time? You know, it was the queen, okay, but the queen soon left. And then it's just Catherine, all the, all the king, the prince, you know, Megan got the hell on. So, and the men over there quarreling, fighting over the women, baby, being snaky, being like rats and mouses, honey, very perverted energy. Okay, everybody having affairs all over the palace, baby. And then, but, you know, with this queen energy here, with this female energy here, it's like she was trying to be patient here, you know, trying to be patient with the men. You know, boys would be boys. But it seemed like somebody was caught up in the middle. She said she was caught up in the middle when it came to Catherine. And it was like being caught up in between Xers and Millennials. So, okay. So you felt like you was it was hard for you to feel, fit in? Was it because you were feminine or was it because of Catherine? Girl, she's talking about Netflix and chill. She said there was a bait and switch here. That's what I'm picking up from this card. Even though it speaks about a romantic chill date at home. You know, sexual chemistry, a bait and switch, sexual activity, and dating. Oh, girl. Girl, let me put this deck down. Because, girl, every deck I pick up, it just seems like it's nothing but sexuality here. And that ain't what I'm asking for. But, but Miss Marie, if that was your experience, because these are, these are not, I didn't know I had that many sensual cards in my deck, babe. I didn't know that. Okay. Let's let's see, girl. These shouldn't be so sexual, girl. Let's, let's see if we can go somewhere else with this story. Okay, so it seemed like you had a horrible experience there. So, when it came to Prince William, how did he show up to you? How did Prince William show up to you? Give me one card that best describes your experience with Prince William. How was his light and shadow attributes? Oh, girl, he was an addict, girl. Well, baby, that's how he's been showing up in all the readings, man. Okay. 
He he loves his tequila, baby. Okay, his bourbon and his crown royal. We know that. So his light attribute speaks about it helps you recognize and confront addictive behavior. So he has so much addictive behavior, honey, that either he learned, he picked up, he had patterns of doing that. Girl, you kind of got to push him off of you. You got to push him up off. He's like, get up off me. But then the shadow attributes, what he does behind closed doors, he compromises his integrity and honesty, allows an addictive pattern to have authority over your inner spirit. Okay, so yeah, girl, he was very addictive. He had a very addictive behavior. He, it's like he constantly would do it, have a pattern of doing, um, either had some type of addiction to substance, addicting, addiction to a behavior that he did all the time. So he was an addict. Let her tell it. Oh, my goodness. What about the king? Okay. I'm sure you ran across the king sometime. How did he come across to you, Miss Maria? Okay. She said the king was a mentor. You know, he tried his best to teach right and do his, do right by his son. But, baby, it was too late. You don't let the man get up there six feet tall. You don't let the man become almost king. And you now you old. It speaks about, you know, his light attributes when it came to Maria was passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So he was, that's the light attributes, but the shadow attributes said he had the inability to allow the student to move on to the role of master, which means he probably didn't want Prince to move on to be a, a king. You know, he was imparting false instructions, which means he wasn't a good leader. He wasn't leading by example. And then the instructions that he did give him was false instructions. It was not truthful instruction. It was not a uh, a real way to get this man to be king. Did he properly prepare him to be that? So as far as Maria con concerned, that the king was coming across as a mentor. He was a mentor. So let's see. that was not like he too much bothered her. What about Camilla? How was Camilla to you? Okay, in your eyes. He said, girl, she said Camilla showed up as the night. Now she is, baby. She do got some centrality about her, honey, um, when it comes to the king. But it says that she had a loyalty and romance and chivalry. She was a love of honor. She had a love of honor. So that's what the light attribute. So she says she had some type of loyalty there, you know, and she very chivalrous. Okay, but what you don't see about her, she's at the dark side of Camilla was she had allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle, a romantic delusions. So she had, Camilla was all about the king. And if the king put out some false information, Camilla wrote with it. I mean, I think she's supposed to. I mean, but she had allegiance to that destructive ruler. And she had destructive principles as well. And even some romantic delusions when it came to the king. Okay, and that's what Miss Maria said. Okay, Miss Maria. So what about the princess, Catherine? How did you see her? What was your experience with Catherine? Girl, she let a couple cards popped out with a Catherine. She said, girl, Catherine was needed an exorcist. Well, she was the exorcist one. She was trying to, I guess she was trying to take the demons out of all these people. Take Trying to take the demon out of... Her husband, William, who was the addict, allegedly. But, you know, it speaks about the light attributes of Catherine from what Miss Maria said, she, that she was freeing herself and others of destructive impulses, which means the impulses that William had to drink or to do certain things. She was trying to get that out of him and stop him from doing that, okay? But the shallow attributes, what you don't see, and but Miss Maria said she did see, that she had a fear of, fa of facing her own demons, which means Catherine had some demons that she didn't face or didn't deal with either. But she was too busy trying to fix William, okay? Followed by the seeker. She was a seeker, okay? She was a traveler, baby. She was a mover, okay? It speaks about the light attributes. She said she had a thirst for wisdom and truth wherever she was, okay? So she had a thir thirst for knowledge, a thirst for trying to discover things, trying to discover the truth. But... The shallow attributes is she had an inability to commit to a path once she found it. So, baby, she was just as lost as everybody else in the palace. Okay, so, now, as you know, we are investigating Kate's disappearance or what's going on with Kate. Now, the last time you seen Kate, what was the energy around Kate? Okay, let's see. The last time you seen her, what was the energy around Kate? Because I do see this extreme card here. But we're going to just see 
close the energy around. Okay, give me three cards. Okay, so let's see what's the energy around Kate the last time you seen her. Girl, their death will come. Girl, what was happening to her? She said it speaks about mortal, finite, and fragile. She said she was very fragile. And she looks sickly, honey. Like death will come on her. Wow. What else, girl? Okay, we got ancient. Okay. It speaks about ancestry, Egypt, and magical inheritance. Okay, that's giving me a lineage of family, a family lineage, um, inheritance. You know, you get that from family. You something that you earn. You earn it after somebody passed away or signed it away to you. Okay, in the will, but it was a magical inheritance, which they was trying to pop up with some type of inherent inheritance in a different type of way. Uh, it speaks about Egypt. That could be travel. Okay, that could be going somewhere farther. Or again, that can give give me that legacy type of energy okay i see a lot of skeletons here skeletons in the closet some type of old history here okay a history of something followed by transgressions okay there was flaws contradictions and mistakes which means somebody was lying baby somebody was contradicting stories there was a lot of something a flaw something happened here okay that caused um, uh, maybe it was a mistake, but either way, people contradicting and maybe even lying about it. Okay, now the king showing up as a mentor is known for falsifying information, and because William showing up as an addict, girl, ain't no telling what he did before he blanked out. Okay, after all his binging, allegedly. Okay, so that was the energy around her. Now, give me more about this extreme card, okay? What do what can you tell me from this deck that calls this extremism, okay? Which means that's a woman and a man fighting over a leather communication, okay? Crossing the man, crossing the line. And it seemed like somebody witnessed it and saw it, okay? Somebody was gawking, telling them, stop. What's going on with this extreme card here? Okay. It speaks about a martyr. Okay, it speaks about seeing the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Okay, she was trying to do her job, and it still speaks about addiction to self pity. Somebody had some type of addiction, and and then once they did whatever they did, they would they had self pity for themselves. Okay, or wanted you to pity them and the goddess. Okay, giving me masculine maybe some type of um addiction when it comes towards this goddess okay a feminine energy the shadow attribute speaks about exploitation of the female nature and form okay seems like somebody was exploiting somebody exploiting a female okay because they over there addicted baby they got some type of addiction going on is she talking about the prince and the and the queen i mean the prince and the princess how was william when it came to kate okay what was your experience of seeing how did William treat Kate? Okay. Okay, it's a child magical card. Okay, it seemed like he was the light attributes that he was seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things. The belief that everything is possible. But the shadow attribute said he was a pessimism, pessimist. He was depressed, okay? He had depression here and a disbelief of miracles. He was believing that the energy and actions are not required for growth, which means he didn't put in more, a lot of um, effort when it came to her. And she may have been kind of bored. He was kind of, you know, not very much optimistic when it came to her. He was a pessimist, which means he probably put her down, said some harsh things, because he we see depression here that could have caused her to be depressed. Was he depressed? Okay, was he stressing this lady out? He didn't put in any type of energy to help this relationship grow. Okay. So, get, what was the energy? Now, you saying that, you know, that death would come and that some, there was some type of mistake that happened here with Kate. Can you give me more about that? Let's see. Which card would tell? Let's see. Let's pull it from this deck right here. 
Give me more about the death would come. Why did you feel that death would come, you know, when you saw Kate last? Okay. Give me the best card from this deck. So let us know why is this death would come. Okay. That's a lot, girl. Okay. So, let's see. Now, this is what she said. The death would come. She said, it was envious and glutton. Okay, now that's two things I see here. Jealousy, envy, somebody jealous of somebody. Okay, look how she's looking right there. Girl, is she okay right there, Miss Maria? Because I know when you saw her look like that, girl, you was ready to go. It was time to go. So, envy, envious and gluttony. Okay, gluttony is, um, is, did she have an eating habit that wasn't too good? Okay, because it don't seem like she's eating that good at all. Like she was locked away in the dungeon, baby. I see, it's almost giving me zombie-like, okay? Envy if somebody was jealous. <sighs> um, ooh, girl, let's move on. The child I was meant to be, okay? Now, this card right here is telling me, it's speaking about a child. We know she was the nanny. And we got the full moon here. We got um, the child is holding something in her hand like, that looks like a plant. That looks like something that's growing here. It's like, as a child, somebody was meant to be something. Okay, that's giving me, because you said that, that death would come when it came to Kate. Somebody was envious, glutton, okay, growing. Something was growing here. Ooh, was a child growing? Was there a child growing in the gluttony? Okay, in the stomach area? Okay, because stomach eating. I'm just trying to put it together, Miss Maria. You give me the best cards that you possibly can today for tomorrow today for tomorrow so they did something in order for it to be a tomorrow for her to see a tomorrow okay i see two people that look just alike one is pulling the other one or holding the other hand okay so that they can be a tomorrow because you because they saying that death will come they're not trying to say that death is here now they say that death will come if we don't do something about this is this gluttony again dealing with the stomach Something that she was eating, something that was giving her other envious. Okay, somebody could have possibly been jealous. There's a child I was meant to be. There's something that's growing here. Was there a child in her stomach that was supposed to be growing? Somebody was jealous about it. Okay, and something happened that in order for her to see tomorrow, we had to do something today. Followed by artificial heart. Did her heart stop? Was there an issue with her heart? Okay, was she heartbroken? Okay, so that's what we got from that. The death will come from that situation. Now, why is the magical inheritance here, Miss um, Maria? Okay, what do we need to know about that? Okay, you said there was magical inheritance. For the last time you seen Catherine, there was magical inheritance. What do we need to know about that? Okay. The cards that we have is the fairy ring, okay? The ring speaks about what, girl? If it ain't a door ring, okay, because that probably wasn't it. But a ring that was on her finger, her marriage. It says new skills, advanced training, and a rapid improvement, okay? Needing something to improve fast in a fast way. So did they try some new technology here? Advanced training. Somebody, they probably had to call in a specialist here. Probably had to fly somebody in from Egypt, baby, or fly her over to another country to get some type of specialist, or was she already in this country? Okay, followed by the mermaid of immersion, com complete com commitment, a complete commitment. Okay, I see, again, the mermaid of the sea, baby. I see all type of fish around her. Fish, to me, sometimes represent um, a, a pregnancy in its early stage. To the point that you may not even know you was even pregnant. Because that's when grandma started dreaming about fish. You know, grandma dreamed about fish before you even know you was pregnant. Or you may have thought you was pregnant. Grandma said she don't even need to see a pregnancy test. It's like complete commitment. With somebody not committed or committed completely to a situation. It's, there we go. We got those rats or fairies again. The delicate fairy and her ferret. Change is, it says change is natural, good, and Yes, it can hurt. Wow. So I see pain here. I'm talking about yes, it can hurt. Change is natural and good. And yes, it can hurt. 
So something changed here when it came to her health, okay? That death would come. She became very fragile. It seemed like it had something to do with her, either her stomach and her heart, okay? Maybe something, okay? They said that she was getting at some type of stomach surgery. And so in the process, did her heart stop? Did, did something happen with her heart, okay? The fact that she needed a new heart, it speaks about an artificial heart, which means what well, she hooked to a machine to keep her heart going. Girl, who children is out here screaming like this while I'm trying to work? I'm trying my best to talk over them and, and ignore it. It's like that somebody getting louder and louder, girl. But let me focus again. Y'all, if y'all hear those children, just know that, girl, the kids out there having fun. So, and I'm, and I'm speaking about a child here, the child I was meant to be. Some child that was meant to be, meant to grow, meant to be here. It speaks about some type of advanced train, training that they probably was doing here. And it probably went, it probably didn't go as well. And it's, now somebody was committed to it. There was some type of commitment here that was made. That somebody was jealous. Now here is a change that is good. And yes, it hurt. Something hurt here. <sighs> for, about, for today, tomorrow, for you to be here tomorrow, babe, we got to do some things that may hurt today. When it comes to your feminine organs or your fem something, she probably could have lost her feminine organs here. Somebody was exploring her, exploring the feminine for form and her natural way of doing things. What they did was unnatural. Here goes something, again, with this artificial heart. Extreme arguments over it. Okay. Now, let's see what else we have here. Why is the child card here? Anything we need to know about the child I was meant to be? Is this concerning a child? Is this concerning something something else? Let me know. Why is the child I was meant to be here when it comes to Catherine and the last time you seen her? Okay. Now this speaks about, girl, we're talking about something going on in the house, baby. The big house, the royal house. Okay, behind the royal gates. Okay. And we also have here with a mature woman, older woman. Okay. Somebody older in age, followed by great fortune. Okay, being fortunate concerning a path, okay? Girl, followed by the community. So, this seems like this is concerning something about okay, the royal family. It could be the royal family again with this big old house. And then something about Kate. Okay, I'm assuming she's a mature woman or an older woman. That could be Camilla, honey, that's in, that was in the house. Somebody paid some money, okay? Which could have altered the altered the pathway that they was going on to the point that the path... Because the path is empty. There's nobody on this pathway here. And then next we follow by the community. Miss Maria, do you know what you're talking about, girl? Okay, because you throwing hints here. You must sign the NDA, girl, but you ain't got to worry about that over here because it's, you know, we virtually, okay, we virtual. You didn't sign no virtual NDA. You can be okay talking, girl, but it's a lot going on here, and I'm trying to understand completely what you're trying to tell me, girl, okay? Now, do you think, now, I see that, okay, what you're saying, that death will come, that she, she was still here, okay, and they needed some type of artificial heart. They may have may have a heart beating on some type of machine here that I'm seeing. It's something definitely dealing with her stomach, okay, and they already announced that, but then now they're trying to say she got some type of cancer. Did she have cancer? Are you aware of her having cancer? Give me one card. What do you think about Kate having cancer? Okay, she said that that's a misfortune. Okay, that's a misfortune here. Okay, followed by the second card that came out here, a renewal. Okay, they trying to get a new start here. Have a new beginning. Okay, with this misfortune. They're trying to get ahead of it. So, now, at the time of your leaving, what did you observe when it came to Catherine? Okay, what did you observe when it came to Catherine uh, on your last day of being there? Okay. What do you want to tell me about that? Because it seemed like some things went bad with her in the hospital. Okay, everybody they getting drunk. They don't remember what happened anyway. So, what I see here, she said on the last days there was a friendship here. Now, either she was surrounded by friends or they was friends. Okay. 
We got friendship followed by persuasion. Okay, there was some persuading that was going on here. Followed by honesty. Okay, being honest about what was going on. Okay, trying to be her friend, probably thinking about her being her friend, but she was being persuaded. Why were you being persuaded? What is the persuasion card here, ma'am? Okay, why do you feel... Okay, when you left, she was surrounded by friends? Was she surrounded by friends? Is that what you're telling me? What do you want to tell me about this friendship card? Okay, she's still saying it was a renewal. She said, Re review the past and the present so that you can plan a bright future, understanding your life purpose, releasing judgment of yourself and others. So it's like she was releasing the judgment on what she saw or what was going on because she just wanted to be safe. She wanted to have a renewal of her life. She just wanted to leave, you know, so she left on a friendly note. Give me more about persuasion. Why is the persuasion card here? It speaks about a bright future manifesting through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, Great progress being made here. Okay. And give me more about this honesty here. Okay. She said that we got the dreamer. Embrace your true purpose. Begin a new adventure and trust yourself. So, girl, she said she was getting the body of that girl. She said when it came to the last day she was there, she said, you know, she left on a friendly note. She she wanted to, you know, I guess want to give a good recommendation, honey. Say, review your past and your present so that you can make a bright new future for yourself, understanding your life purpose. You know, she's keep on thinking about her life purpose. She's keep on thinking about manifesting her work. Okay, she ain't trying to leave on a bad note because a bad recommendation from the royal family would have been, uh, would have killed her dreams. Okay, so she got to embrace her true purpose. Okay, and just so she can start from new and she got to trust. Okay, with the honesty here, she got to trust that what they're saying and trust and understand that what's going on because she didn't, she didn't want to persuade them to tell nobody else not to hire a girl. Okay, because she said she worked hard on her career and her, I guess, her reputation. She said there was a lot going on in the royal family. And she just wanted to start over and leave leave anew. She only got the job because, you know, it was a royal job. You know, the struggle was, was real. She said it was a lot going on when she first started. She just had to cope and adapt to it. You know, she the, her main objective was to make sure that the kids were safe. She wanted to babysit no grown folks. But she said that she did notice and see that, you know, Catherine was in a bad way. But for the most part, she got along with Catherine. She just seen that, that death could possibly come from Catherine. You know, with this artificial heart. Okay. This artificial heart needing some type of heart. Okay, girl. So we ain't going to drag it out on you, girl. Because I know you ain't trying to mess up your reputation or mess up nothing that's going on with you. You done told us the most you can, honey. About everything, I think. Okay. And so, was you, was you flattered by the fact that, girl, there was all that flirting with you, honey? And they was all that fighting, girl. Why why is that here? And then we'll let you go, girl. Okay. Give me more about this flattery and extremist card. What you gotta tell us, girl, Miss Maria. Okay. She said she was just ready to go home, girl. Okay. She wants to go home. She needs to go home, honey. She wants to get up out of them folks' house. Okay, so, when, okay, now, just one more question for you, Lev. Where, in your mind, where is Catherine at this time? If you, you know, if you had to, you know, tell me, where is Catherine at this time? Do you know where she is? Because everybody's looking for her. Can you give me an update on Catherine? Girl, she said she had to tell you. She said, Catherine, someone stargazing. And girl, she won with the stars, so she's looking up at the stars. She says, when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about this about your situation. But girl, either Catherine with the stars or she gazing at the stars, baby, followed by healing. Okay, she says Catherine needs to heal. She said, now's the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Okay, so she's sending that healing energy to Catherine because she said Catherine got a lot that she got to go through, followed by some hidden depths. 
It's some things that that was that was even hidden from her that she don't understand. It says something hidden is about to come to light, perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. But when we expose what's hidden, we can become free. Oh, so she got a lot of things that's hidden here when it comes to Catherine and the depths of her mind. She was just trying to get it out of there and start new, honey, because it was a lot going on. But it seemed like Catherine is still healing. Stargazing, okay, which means stars. When you're seeing stars, baby, you knocked out. You out cold. And there's some hidden depths that's going to come to light eventually. Eventually, it's going to come to light when it comes, when it's uh, all about Catherine. Okay, now, can you tell me what's going to come to light, girl? Okay, and then we'll let you go. What are the hidden depths? Because they said once you release these hidden depths, you become free. Are you ready to become free today? Let me know. What are the hidden depths when it comes to Catherine and her current situation that you know about? Dig deep. Go into your sunken place, Miss Maria. Okay, and then I'll let you go, girl, because that's what we brought you here for. Okay, the one thing she can muster up that she remember is that there was some primal energy there. Okay. Look at all the people that surrounding either Catherine or her. It speaks about connecting deep within a sacred dance and her instincts. So either she's gonna be start Catherine is gonna be stargazing with the stars, honey, if she wake up from whatever this this is giving kind of coma like energy because she's healing. They're trying to get her to heal. Uh, but the hidden depths, honey, if she can come from the depths of where she are. And this sacred dance, is she going to do the sacred dance and come back? Okay, will she ever be the same? Because when we expose what's hidden, we become free. Is, is she going to be free from this family wherever she goes? But it's saying that sooner or later, it's going to be exposed here. Okay, right now, it's not the time. So Catherine probably fighting for her life and, and fighting to be here. And she in between worlds. So, and that's what Miss Maria may feel, okay? She don't know exactly what's going on. That's the best of her knowledge of what she got, girl. Miss Catherine, I mean, Miss Maria says she's just trying to go on to her next step in life. So that's going to be the reading right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Catch me on the next one, okay? Talk to you later, girl. Bye.